This week we have rear handles, impacts, chainsaws, a bolter, track saw, blower, and more chainsaw. This is your Power Tool Week in Review. Today's episode is brought to you by Ohio Power Tool, Pro Tools, Pro Service at the best prices at OhioPowerTool.com. And Flex, it's what's next. Welcome back, Power Tool fans. I'm Rob. And I'm Sarah. And we're starting this week off over at AVE, who is back with another bolter, or board of lame tool reviews. This time, he turned his attention to a Makita planer. And right off the bat, he's not happy with the sticker placement. The Jesus thing's on sidewards. Look at that. For frog snack. Frog snacks aside, that's the Makita KP0800 planer which he chose over a DeWalt. And after abusing the little guy, he does what AVE does best and tears the thing apart, covering every part along the way, pointing out materials used, and points out the things that will break first. In the end, he shares what he likes and hates about the planer in theft deterrent teal. And while he points out that this is not a professional tool, it would be perfectly fine for a hobbyist. For the full review, head over to AVE. Now, I don't need to tell you guys that you should be super careful loaning out your tools. Unless it's my neighbor Keith, I usually just say no. That is, unless it's Jim over at Philly Fixed. And I'm sorry, but who could say no to that face? This time he asked for my treasured Flex rear handle and a few stacked lithium batteries. And this week he launched his huge rear handle head to head, looking for the very best of 2022. His contenders included the usual suspects from Milwaukee, DeWalt, Makita, Metabo HPT, and of course, my Flex. To test the pro saws, Jim chose to equip each one with a new pro blade, the Spider Tarantula. Now Jim forces each saw to not only make difficult cuts, as you'd expect on a framing job, but ran them as fast as he could. But just as important, he took the time to review ergonomics and sight lines and even calls out most brands for choosing to shoot the sawdust right back at the user. But not my flex. Speaking of, want to guess whose favorite saw comes out on top? Very subtle rock. <laughs> for the full review, head over to Philly Fixed. It's tape week! Do you know why? Nope. Yeah, me neither. But Clint over in the tool review zone decided to get into the tape measuring spirit and pull together all of the tapes he had lying around the garage and test each one to see who measures up. Stanley sent him four to celebrate the suspect celebration and he found four more from Crescent Lufkin. After testing their tape quality, magnetic tips, and standout, he does eventually reveal which measuring tape stands out. The most to him. So if your old tape is due for a tossing and you want to find the best replacement, I highly suggest you visit the Tool Review Zone. Our buddy Dave over at Man Caver Tools is in the midst of a channel renovation, and so far the results are pretty darn good. He started with some actual renovation of his garage where he tests tools and shoots videos. And then this week he launched an entirely new tool review format, starting with a top 12 volt impact driver of 2022. His new format is incredibly fast paced and the results are easy to read and follow. The tools he chose to test include 12 volt impacts from Milwaukee, Skill, Makita, DeWalt, and Hilti. He pushes each one through several difficult challenges designed to test not only their speed, but power and heat management. But probably the most appealing aspect to his new format, there's a clear winner at the end. To find out which brand makes the best 12 volt impact for 2022, head over to Man Caver Tools. An often overlooked tool in any garage or shop seems to be a little shop blower, but lucky for us, the disembodied hands from Tools and Stuff has us covered. That is the Makita GSA-01 40 volt dust blower, something that Tools has already shown us. But this time, he has a huge collection of attachments that we've never seen before. He carefully details each one, revealing several new uses for the handy blower, including inflating my drink pool floaty, which seems incredibly important. But I think the Lego use case may have that beat. The rest of the tips offer creative uses as well, including that hose that hooks up to the back of the tool, allowing it to deflate as well. Super handy for using those vac bags for storing clothes and stuffed toys. If you need just one more reason to buy this awesome blower, you'll find it over at Tools and Stuff. I need to apologize for this, but literally as we were finishing the show, I got a call from my in-laws who have my children with them on a trip five hours from here. My mother-in-law just had a medical emergency, so I need to rush down there to get my kids out of the hospital. Not a joke. So we're going to wrap up the rest of our show as quickly as we can so I can get on the road. Marius from Mastering Mayhem set out to see if a steel gas chainsaw would beat a group of electric competitors. I'm rooting for the ego. Go figure. TTC reviewed Makita's 40 volt XGT compact impact wrench, which comes with some seriously big numbers on the box and finds out if they're anywhere close to accurate. Tinker with tools decided to try reviewing reciprocating saws, starting with the popular Metabo HPT 36 volt model, which includes a rebar cutting challenge that gave me quite a headache. Go check it out. If you're tired of hearing about Milwaukee's track saw, Toolbox Buzz thoroughly reviewed the Rio 
Adobe 18 Volt One Plus version, and it yielded a few surprises. Shop Tool Reviews got a hold of the all new Ego 56 Volt 16 inch chainsaw, which we can tell you from our own experience is insane. Vince over at VCGS started a new interview series, and this week he invited Richard from Finnish Carpentry TV. And when you get two experienced carpenters together, the conversation isn't only informative, but entertaining. It was a great video, and we recommend you don't miss it. Okay, that's it. I need to run. I want to thank Flex and Ohio Power Tool for sponsoring this episode, and for Spider for sponsoring the production crew. We have one more show before this month's $2,000 giveaway, so make sure you subscribe, and you can find more information below. If you can, do something kind for someone else this weekend, and we'll see you next week.